Today we're going to be talking about an insertional Achilles tendonitis. This is a side view of your foot here. The Achilles is marked in yellow there. Where you get the pain there is where the Achilles inserts into the heel bone just here where those red marks are. Um, and you'll typically get pain with walking or running. Now we're going to have a page here just over leaf where we're going to mark where the heel bone is. That's that C area there and the Achilles is marked in red. Where you get your insertional tendonitis is in that pink area there, and that's typically where it's painful. The other type of Achilles tendonitis you can get is called non-insertional, which is in the middle of the tendon, and that's in yellow there. We're not going to talk about that today. We're going to be talking about the insertional Achilles tendonitis marked with that big yellow arrow. That's where you're going to get the pain. And we're going to be typically talking about today the surgeries available for treatment. So one of the surgeries is known as a Zadok osteotomy, and that essentially means breaking the heel bone. The other surgery means detaching the tendon from where it attaches, removing any bone or inflamed tendon, and then reattaching the Achilles um, back where it needs to go, and that's quite a long recovery period. Now, this is an x-ray of the side part of your foot and your ankle. We're just going to mark a few bones here. That's the tibia just there, known as the shin bone. Uh, the next one we're going to mark is called the calcaneus, and that's your heel bone, and that's where typically an insertional tendonitis affects. And then we're going to mark the Achilles coming down into the heel bone just there in red for you to see. And typically with this problem, you'll see some calcification. We're just going to mark that in yellow just there for us. So you've got a nice good view of it. Okay. Um, now that's typically you get calcification with the tendon on an x-ray with this problem. Uh, so um, the other thing you can get is something called a Haglund's deformity, which is that extra little bump of their um, bone just marked above the red line there. And often in surgery, people will take that off as part of the bigger type of second operation. But first of all, we talk about one of the options, which is a zadic osteotomy, which essentially means removing or breaking part of the heel bone. And the reason we do this um, is because there's been a study that's shown where if you measure that length just there and the, denoted by the red line, known as the greater tuberosity length, um, and you compare that to the overall length of your heel bone, known as the calcaneus, that if that greater tuberosity length is too high, you get a ratio of um, B to A there, A over B, that's less than 2.5. Uh, and so we actually see that ratio is lower based on this study for patients that have an Achilles tendonitis. Um, now, if you if you want to take a look at that study, you can just click on that link there, that QR code just there to give us a better idea. But basically in this study, they had 50 patients with insertion of Achilles tendonitis and they had about 30 patients that didn't. And then they went and then measured that greater tuberosity length I was talking about and the length of the Achilles and came up with that ratio and they found the insertional tendonitis patients had a ratio of around about two, a bit over two. If for people that didn't have this problem, their ratio was higher at 2.7. So the thought was if we could bring the ratio up, then we might be able to make patients better. And the way to make the um, ratio up, remember the ratio is A over B. So if you make B smaller, A will be, the overall ratio will be bigger. Um, so we want to bring it up to that 2.7 if we can. Now there are technically probably two ways of doing that. Um, one would be to make B smaller or to make A bigger. It's very hard to make A bigger. So the easier way is actually to make B smaller. Um, so just writing here, smaller, if you make B smaller, that'd be better. If you could make A bigger, that, um, that would be great, but it's very hard to make your heel longer. Um, so we, but we can certainly make parts of the bone shorter by taking some bone out. And that's where this zadic osteotomy comes into it. So we take a little wedge of bone there marked in the black area there, and that actually reduces the overall length of that B area. Okay. Uh, and so that will actually increase your ratio. Um, now, if we take that bone there, we then push the two ends of the bone together and that makes that B area smaller. And we do need to hold it with something, which is typically a screw through the back of the heel, uh, that would mean you need to be off the foot for about six weeks as a result. Now, if we want to go back to that other uh, operation we were talking about at the very beginning, there is another option to this. Um, as we said before, the pain you're going to get here is um, over the back of the heel. And so people do feel that it's largely related to the tendon itself as well. And this is what the tendon will look like from the back. So in yellow there, we're just going to draw the uh, tendon attaching into the uh, white heel bone there known as the calcaneus. And so we can explain to you the other operation available, which means detaching and reinserting the tendon and cleaning up anything around it. We're going to explain it with these drawings. So this is another side view of the ankle and the foot. The yellow part is denoted by the tendon, and the red part is actually that Haglund's deformity, that little bump of bone, which we sometimes see on an x-ray. So we've got to remove that if we want to do the bigger operation. And so the way we do that, we, ha we have to actually take down the Achilles to get access to that bone. And essentially what happens is, is we, we basically peel it off on either side, like a banana peel. 
Um, so we can cut along the straight line in the middle of the tendon and we peel it off from where it attaches into the heel bone. And that will give us some access to the heel bone from the back. That then means that we can, so you see on the left there, that x-ray there means the Achilles is detached. That allows us to get to that Haglund's deformity or that Haglund's bone extra piece, which is above that red line, which we then are able to remove. And I do appreciate that it doesn't project that well on the x-ray here, but we have removed it on this x-ray. And then we'll basically then clean up any inflamed parts of the tendon. And at this page, we need to then reattach it. And that's an x-ray with it reattached, essentially. Okay. People often ask us, how do we reattach it? Well, we use these things called bone anchors, which look a little bit like a screw. Um, they're not. Sometimes they're made of metal, sometimes they're not. They will then anchor into the bone and there's some stitches coming out of them and go through the tendon. And that allows us to bring the tendon back down. But we do need to protect the tendon for a period of time till it beds back in. Now, some people will do that static osteotomy where you break the bone and do that operation. Others will do one of those in isolation. I suggest you talk to your doctor. But I hope you've enjoyed our talk today. Please take a look at some of our other videos or subscribe to the foot and ankle orthopedic surgeon. Thank you very much for listening.